Hey guys, welcome to Programmer Guide. Today's agenda is we'll try to create a quick token lab. For that, we'll be using Oracle Virtual Box. And for the image, we will be using Alpine Linux image because Alpine Linux image is much more simpler, secure, as well as the resource efficient. So if you compare to any other Linux distributions like Red Hat, CentOS, or Ubuntu, or SUSE, some other Linux boxes, they are much more resource consuming than the Alpine one. So it is built because of this resource efficiency on so we'll use this image only and after after that once the vm is created we'll install the docker software on that okay so let's start now so create a vm on virtual box we need two things actually for oracle virtual box you just go to this virtual box.org this link this is the page it will appear and after that you just click on this download button as soon as you will click on the download button you can see the different kind of distribution is available for my systems i am using the windows host one and as soon as you will click on this uh, windows host it will immediately download the uh, windows exe file so i have already downloaded that one and apart from that uh, we need an, another iso image that is for alpine so for that you need to go to the alpine linux.org once you go there you can see there is a download button is there you just click on the download here we can see the different kind of flavors is available for this alpine linux so there is a standard extended and raspberry pi one and there is also some virtual couple of things are available for our demo purpose we are using standard one 64 bit alpine linux so as soon as i'll click on it it will start downloading the software so both of them i have already downloaded and i have kept it in in my system so you can see that the virtual box installer already available here apart from that there is another iso is available and that is you can see it's only 126 mb okay it's 124 mb okay for any other iso if you take any other distro like rhl or send it will come with around near about 4 gb i remember so it's only 126 gb by by seeing that you can imagine that how small it is okay now for the virtual box installation you just need to follow the standard uh, windows installation step for any software just right click on it run as an administrator and this window will pop up but thereafter you need to just need to press couple of next button and then it will come automatically complete this installation okay i have already installed this software so i am not going through this step actually i'm just trying to skip this step so when you install the software you can be able to see one icon like this oracle vm virtual box and when i open that one this is the window first time we are able to see that okay now let's start creating the vm from scratch the first things we need to do is from the click on the new button and here you just give a name like i'm giving alpine one and type you just need to choose it as a linux versions i have downloaded 64 bit linux versions so i put it as 64 bit here memory i just putting it at 1 gb is fine for me because it's a very small um, vm so I, i'm not changing that one because i already having 16 gb of memory and hard disk i'm just providing as a default one clicking on the create button next one it is asking for the how much hard disk i wanted to provide i just make it as a 10 gb if you have more hard disk in your uh, system you can provide more as a create as soon as it will be created click on it and click the settings button here the first things i want to disable as the enable audio i'm just disabling that one apart from that i'm just clicking on the storage options here you can see there is no image selected so just click on the empty uh, image options and there from there we just need to browse and select the images so i'm just browsing it and set, uh, selecting the alpine standard images that's it click on ok now let's put let me change this uh, view okay so it started booting the first thing they are it is asking for login so put it as root it doesn't have any password now to start the alpine setup there is a one single command you can see it evo it's set uh, set up alpine here i'll choose the keyboard as a us keyboard here also the different us keyboard type available here also i'll choose the same one us here most of the things i'll put it as a default here it is asking for the host name i am putting as a node one and this one is interfaces by default ETH. it's fine i like to use dhcp fine you want to change any manual no i don't want to change so anything default you just put an enter now it is asking to set a new password okay 
Now it's asking to set that uh, time zone. So by default, it is UTC. If you want to set it something else, you can put a question mark here. It will show you the entire list. So let's say I am putting Asia. Now it will ask for a sub time zone. So if you don't know sub time zone, put one more question mark. It will give you the complete list of sub time zone. So I'm putting as Kolkata. Okay. It is asking for setting up the proxy. Uh, I'm just putting as an enter. Here also it is asking for NTP client. So it's fine, Crony, for NTP client for me. So it's Crony is already set up. Now it is asking for the mirror. I am here also I am putting the default options. Now in next is the SSH server. It is using open SSH. Still it's fine. Now it is asking which hard disk to be used. So I have provided 10 GB of hard disk. Uh, default name is SDA. So I am putting as a SDA here. So now, so I just put it as a by default system. So it start installing the, the complete packages. So it is asking to erase the disk. I said yes. It will take around uh, so near about one minute to complete this. So by this time, I'm just skipping this uh, this video. So it just take uh, less than a minute in my system to complete the installation. So it is now asking me to reboot the systems. So I'll not reboot. I'll just power off the systems. So I'll say power off. The system is power off now. So what I'll do now? Once again, I'll click on it. I'll just change the some network setting. I'll change this uh, network setting NAT to bridge network because I wanted to access this VM from the outside virtual box. So I'll be using some of the Putty or Mobastrom or some other SSH client from there. I can from the host system. I directly able to log in to this VM. One more setting I forgot to change. Let's click on the settings once again. I go to the systems and then uh, uncheck this first two item because now I have already installed the OS in our hard drive so we don't need to boot from the ISO file actually so it, now it should boot from the hard drive now let's boot up again so this is the actual IP of this VM 192.168.1.109 just it's asking for user ID password for that password is the one when which, which you have set during installations okay so to access from the outside you just need to do one more thing uh, just you need to open one sshd config file like this and you just try to find um, this line permit loot login i'll just re remove the hash and then i'll remove the prohibited password and i'll make it as yes escape wq save that one now i need to restart uh, sshd it's done so let me try to log in uh, using 192.168.1.109 this ip from some ssh client so let me open one of my SSH client. I'm just using Git Bash. You can use Putty or Mobastrom, anything that you have in your system. So just SSH root 192.168.1.109. Yes. Root 123. Done. So now uh, I'm just not using from the virtual box. I'm using outside of my virtual box and directly from the host. I'm using one SSH client and directly log into this. So up to this is fine. Now I the next one is I need to install Docker in that, right? Because if you just Docker info, it's Docker is not there, right? Now to install a Docker image, we need to configure the repository, Alpine repository. For that, we need to edit one file. Right here. This is the file we need to edit. If you open this file, you can see there are a couple of repositories um, commented out. So I'm just removing all this hashtag from each and every line. Once it is done, I'm just saving this file. So I just saved it. Now the installing a Docker, that is a simple command is there. It's a apk add Docker. It is that easy to install a Docker in Alpine image. 
so that's it docker is already installed you can now we can start the docker service so docker is already started so you can see docker images there is no image available docker version you can see that docker version is, is 19.3 that means docker is available now let me run one some sample docker command start one nginx web server so i'm just exposing one port it's trying to pull the images from docker hub because this image is not available in my local repository spelling is wrong in ginx now i put two docker images you can see that the nginx image is now pulled from the repository now let me see the container is running or not uh, docker piece you can see i have already created one nginx container using this image and that image is exposed on 8989 port so let me open my browser 8989 port see that nginx is up and running now so that's it docker is up and running now in your vm so you can now start playing with the docker using this vm thank you guys hope to see you in the next tutorials till then goodbye